Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Toy Story 2. Last time we completed our space land, this time we're going to move on to our next level which is a boss fight and it's called Toy Barn Encounter. So let's get going. And there's our boss, a little bit anticlimactic, doesn't get its awesome intro, it just sort of, there you go. But anyway, here we are on a sort of weird domey thing and we're being attacked by this giant mothership orb thing which I think is called Big Orb. I think that's a, its official name is Big Orb, which is a little bit lame, but anyway. What you want to do is dodge the green laser and shoot the main body anywhere. And it's going to drop one of these pods off. And in the pods you're going to have these uh, enemies. It's going to have a different type of enemy or a group of enemies in each one. You just want to keep shooting it and making it drop its pods. Okay, and we've got a mini orb, or just a regular size orb now, so you can see how much bigger this big orb is. This is definitely one of the biggest enemies you're ever going to fight in this game, which is kind of cool since it's probably one of my favourite boss fights, and I think it has an invincibility state just after um, the pod has been, whatever's been in the pod has been destroyed, so be aware of that. And as you can see, I mentioned earlier in the Let's Play that these um, little robots, the jumping robots, can jump an absolute mile. Later on, this is where they do it. They can jump so far if you're not careful. So be careful. Okay, and what have we got? We've got a car. And, oh, I missed it. I was going to jump on his head and then spin him, but I'm being less than amazing. And also, he's too short for me to hit properly. So let's take him out with a spin attack and then take out this orb with my laser beam. Um, so what have we got next? We've got a shield guard thing, robot, and a little robot. I suggest you try and take out both of those in one thing or that one will hit you. Unless you're trying to get out of a cooldown in which, if you let it hit you, it will make it a lot quicker. And for some reason it's deflecting my bullets. Okay, last pod. What have we got? Shield guard and an orb robot. Probably the most difficult um, uh, long range and short range enemy we've had so far. So, let's take both of them out. Now that we've done that, I'm just going to grab some health. So that I'm nicely topped up. For this final fight, we're going to say what you want to do is try to get a little bit of distance from you and it. So don't run against a wall and then turn around and just start shooting at it. Um, okay, red laser doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot, so let's get a little bit further away and take a power shot at it. I believe if you play this level for long enough, a green laser will appear in one of these craters around the air edge where the uh, health is but it's not necessary because I win there we go defeated in what's my opinion one of the best boss fights in the game there we go and our reward here we go oh our reward is a save screen excellent there we go here's our true reward it's a bonus movie it's not a save screen that'd be like the worst reward ever His bag's got a tail. It's alive! Or it needs to see a doctor. Oh, who put these balls here? Seriously, that's a trip hazard. If any workplace had that many balls on the floor, they would be in serious trouble. But anyway, some uh, acrobatic impossibilities from a toy. Convenient trampoline placement. And to infinity and beyond. And fail right on his face. He looks like a little angry man. Convenience. I think they replaced that sound. It's another one of those sounds they've replaced for some reason. But anyway. Of all of the toys that in these boxes could come alive, it had to be Zerg, didn't it? He's alive! Sort of. 
I don't know why they give you two slots to, you know, to look through like it's eyes, considering you have to use one, which would make that really awkward in your eyes for any child. But anyway, I'm being picky now. I'm just being ridiculously picky. But whatever. Now that we completed that, we're going to move on to our next level, Elevator Hop, which is another one of people's most hated levels when it comes to this game. Um, just because it's one of those ones where there's a lot of jumping, and if you fall, you're going to fall a really long way, and it's going to be a pain. Hopefully we can get through at least half of it in this episode, and get to the checkpoint, and then we can complete the more interesting part of it afterwards. Coach, shut up! That's why I'm sure. <laughs> I love this thing. Oh no, it's ruined by Rex's awful voice. Why? Come on, we've got no time to lose. Everyone, grab hold. I wish is I wish this is how we got up, but no, it's not. We just take the elevator. The thing is, this is currently following the uh, fake buzz, which is kind of weird, considering I think we're playing as the normal buzz. I'm not quite sure, though, since um, um, since that sort of is what we've been doing all game. But from where we are now, since they climbed up the elevator the hard way, I'm guessing that this is... The uh, regular Buzz, Andy's Buzz, but anyway, let's talk to Mr. Potato Head. Hi Buzz, you need the grappling hook to climb up high. If you can find my missing foot, I will unlock the grappling hook. But then again, that whole thing is countered by the fact that Mr. Potato Head's here, which is kind of weird, but anyway. Enough nitpicking and not knowing who I am in identity cr uh, crisis. How the heck is he standing on one leg like that? But anyway, we'll move on and go find his foot since we need it to progress further. This is uh, one of the power-ups you are required to get in order to complete the game. I think it's the only one that you're absolutely required to get in order to complete the game. What's this block say? We haven't seen one of these in a while. The switch in the control room will activate this shortcut fan. So there we go, that's where our checkpoint is. There's another one over that side, but that one is a lot higher up. It's right at the top. We probably won't get to that one for a while. Uh, this is always a pain. So you have to wait, wait... Wait for it, and go. have to wait for just after that has gone through. And I think... Yep, yeah, I did it too early. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. Oh, too early. Right, now we go, I think. Right, will I do it? This is going to be the tricky one. Aim for that end? Yes! If you aim for the left side, you will more likely get it, because that's where it's... You know, by the time you jump, that's where it's not going to be. Um, so let's go across here and avoid electricity randomly traveling traveling through air, which is a little weird. And grab Mr. Potato Head's foot. This would always be a pain, not getting the mouse, but getting the um, Mr. Potato Head's foot because it is a right nightmare to do. As you may have saw, but I didn't mention, Miss uh, Ham is just on the other side of this block thing here. So, if you're looking for him, that's where he is, and trust me, it's going to be a pain in the arse to come and find him when we have to do this, do that little bit all again. That's just so annoying for me, I just hate that one little bit, that's like the one bit of jumping I really don't like. But anyway, wow, thanks for my, what, well, well, there, <laughs> let's try and read that properly, take that again. Well, thanks for, thanks Buzz, in return for finding my foot, I will let you use the grappling hook. You can aim it in the special targets in the visor view using the R1 button and you can launch the hook by pressing fire. God, my reading skills just went to, <laughs> went to hell there. I know I'm slightly dyslexic, but that's pushing it. But anyway, let's climb up here. Uh, keep on climbing. Like you said, you just want to aim with the R1 button. Uh, or L1, I believe. Is it L1? Yeah, it's L1. I don't know, maybe I read it wrong. But anyway, you want to aim and then um, R fire with the R1 button. Okay, why are you targeting him? I don't want to target him. Uh, these snakes, um, I think they're meant to be toy snakes, I'm not quite sure. 
Um, they're probably toy snakes, since that well, that seems to be what everything is in this game. And here we go, we have fire. Uh, let's grab those hooks and climb on up there, ignoring the fire, since I have never been hit by that fire once. And there we go, got a green laser. Um, these snake enemies, I don't know what is going on, they just seem to be in this... Um, uh, elevator shafts for some reason. I don't exactly know why they're here and what's going on, but they're here. So, whatever. Here we go. We've got Rex and another mouse. And we're going to keep on moving. Grab a grappling hook. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier when we first got the grappling hook, it allows us to go back and complete elevator. Not elevator. Uh, what am I trying to think of? I'm trying to think of... Uh, alleys and Gullies, that's the one. This is the uh, power-up you require to complete Alleys and Gullies. And now that we've got it, we can go back and complete that level if we wanted to. So... Joy, we can now complete that level. After so long and so much annoyance, we can now complete it. Uh, we still can't complete uh, Al's Toy Bomb, but we'll get to that later. And if my charge attack will work... Take you out and pick up those coins. And I think we're getting pretty close to the checkpoint. And I need to be on the other side of this fire. Okay, let's jump up there. Run against this fan. And go up there. And go up there. You can see why this level causes a lot of people annoyance. Just because it's a pain to try and get up here the first time. And I think... Yep, there we go. And with this switch, we have... If I get it... <laughs> with this switch... Uh, wow, this is... There we go. And with this switch, we've activated our next checkpoint. So, next time on Let's Play Toy Story 2, we will be moving on with the rest of this level. But until then... Like, comment, subscribe and all the other good stuff. I've been Hasdi and I'll see you next time.